hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if you not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss a loaded truck travels 14 km in 25 minutes so it will going to travel at 14 km per 25 minutes it will travel 14 km per 25 minutes so the speed remains constant that is speed remains speed constant speed constant how far it can travel in 5 hours so how much so for 5 hours what is the distance it will going to travel that question that asked so let's take distance distance will be equal to that is let's take distance d and time they are given so time will be equal to uh, t let's take like this so what is the distance for first one what that given so what is the distance at 14 kilometers for 25 minutes so 14 kilometer for 25 minutes the next one what they are asked is how much distance it will travel for 5 hours so 5 hours speed is constant so here speed is constant that means speed is equal to distance by distance by time distance by time so what speed at the first that is distance and time will be direct proportion so distance and direct proportional to time that will be so d by t is constant d by t is constant that is d1 by t1 will be equal to d2 by t2 will be equal to d3 by t3 will be equal to constant that is yes speed will be constant you can take k also no problem in this so let's take here d1 this is t1 so sorry yes here t2 this is d2 so let's take d1 by t1 will be equal to d2 by t2 same value we will get so we have to find d2 there so d2 will be equal to d1 t2 whole divided by t1 so that is the case d1 is what 14 kilometers into 22 is what 5 hours then whole divided by t2 sorry t1 is what 25 minutes so actually 14 into 5 into 1 hour so since 1 hour will be equal to 60 minutes so convert minutes hours to minutes so 60 by 25 so let's cancel for this values here so 5 ones are 5 fives are then 5 ones are 5 ones are 5 then 1 will be 5 to the 10 so what you'll get here into 12 what you'll get here is 1 12 4 are 48 that is 12 ones are 12 plus 4 168 kilometer thanks for watching please subscribe so here finally 168 kilometer is the distance traveled by the loaded truck thanks for watching please subscribe viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this model we are going to discuss eighth question if the weight of 12 sheets of thick paper this is 12 sheets thick papers weight of that is 40 grams next one how many sheets of the same paper would weight will be 16 to by 3 kilograms they are given in mixed fraction what is the number of sheets we have to find here so 16 to by 3 kilograms so let's take number of sheets number of sheets and weight of the paper weight of the weight of sheets of thick paper is okay weight of the paper you can take papers let's take number of sheets will be x and weight of the papers will be weight of the sheet will be y so what we have to find here is so first what they are given here so number of sheets 12 for that what is the weight 40 grams then next one number of sheets we have to find for the 16 2 by 3 kilograms so that one let's take if weight, number of sheets will be increases then weight of the sheet paper will also increases that is the case here so that is x is directly proportional to y x equal to k y then what you can take x by y will be equal to k that is constant that is x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 will be equal to x3 by y3 that will be equal to constant it will not change for remaining things so let's substitute here this is x1 this is y1 x2 y2 
so 16 2 by 3 converted into kilograms so that is it will be 16 into 3 plus 2 by 3 so 48 plus 2 by 3 what we are getting here so 48 50 by 3 what we will get 50 by 3 that is kg so 50 by 3 into 1 kilogram will be equal to 1 kg will be equal to 1000 grams so 1000 grams so you can take that one as so let's take here so what we have to find x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 so we have to find x2 value that is x2 will be equal to x1 y2 by y1 so here x1 is what first one 12 y2 is what 50 by 3 into 1000 whole divided by y1 is what here 40 grams so we are written in grams only so grams grams so just cancel the values so here what is the cancellation here is let's check 3 1s are 3 4 are 12 then 50 into 1000 we have to make it so 3 1s are 3 1s are 3 4 are 12 that is 4 into 50 into 1000 by 40 that one you can take it as so here 4 1s are 4 10 are then 10 1s are 10 5 are what you are getting 5 into 1000 that is 5000 5000 is the value so here x2 will be 5000 that is 5000 sheets so 5000 number of sheets will be carried 16 2 by 3 weight thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss a train moves at constant speed of 75 km per hour so what is the speed is equal to 75 km per hour so this train is moving 75 km per hour what is the speed formula is distance by time that is meter per second also you can take distance by time our first one is what is that is how far will it travel in 20 minutes so time they are given time t will be equal to 20 minutes but what is the speed they are given so speed will be equal to 75 kilometer per hour so that means 75 kilometer one hour means this one hour 60 minutes you can write by 60 minutes so that is 75 by 60 kilometer per minute so this is the value we are converted actually so let's take so substitute the formula your speed will be equal to distance by time the distance will be equal to speed into time so speed is what 75 by 60 into time will be 20 minutes so 21s are 20 threes are then 3 ones are 3 twos are then 3 fives are so 25 kilometer it will going to travel in 20 minutes 25 kilometers our next one is what is that is second one find the time required to cover distance or distance gap given 20 to 50 kilometers then speed will be equal to distance by time so what time we have to calculate time will be distance by speed so what is this is here you can take it as so distance is 250 kilometer by speed will be 75 so let's take with the, what you can calculate with 5 5 1 is a 5 then 5 3 5 5 is a 25 then 5 5 is a then 25 0 then what you can take 5 3 is a 15 then 5 times a 50 10 by 3 kilometers that is sorry 10 by 3 hours so 10 by 3 hours actually 10 by 3 hours you can convert it into minutes also 1 hour 60 minutes then 3 1s are 3 2s are 6 0 then 200 minutes 200 minutes to travel to 50 kilometers thanks for watching 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब